I'm Megan, and this is my husband, Bo, and our daughter, Beckett. Join us on our journey as we relocate our family to raw land in beautiful northeastern Washington. Watch as we start from scratch and build the life we desire. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Got another load of foam for the flooring. It's been really hard to find this. I don't know when you guys will watch this or when you end up watching it, but we're like year two of COVID, but now we're feeling the repercussions of the slowdown. So we found it uh, Saturday morning, just ran down and grabbed it. I'm gonna throw one more strap on there and hit the road. And what you see behind me here is our foam board insulation. We have had a hard time finding it. We need a lot since we're doing um, radiant heat in the floor and it's been out everywhere. It's just one of those building materials that's impossible to get right now. So I went to Home Depot yesterday and they just happened to have four bunks of it. So we picked it up today. Very specific. Okay, so watch, look where the thing is. I usually tighten it up right there. We'll get in a position where you can and re find it. Does it have to be facing it like that? Well, it can't not be facing it. Oh, like. Okay. You have to move slower, too. It doesn't react that fast. Nope. Oh, oh, you're moving too fast. There you go. Okay. Yep. Tighten it up. It's tight. Are you sure? Yeah, if I let go, it'll stay. Okay, now move it. Move it where? I mean, you can just move. Yep, so and then move it up six inches, which you can either count or use this. To the top of that work. Okay, move it up to that. I forgot which one it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember if it was the big four or the little four. Because up is down. is down. All right, so what we did was we found top of concrete which is the bottom of the door. And she zeroed in on that. And then she went up on the stick because we need to find top of this grade. She went up six inches, which is two inches of concrete, or excuse me, two inches of foam and six inches of concrete. So now we can just walk around, put the stick down on the dirt and see. What should it do? See if it's right. So it, this is good. Look at, look at it. It's close, yep. So if you can't see it and you're just listening to it, see how there's the slow beep and the high beep? Oh yeah. The high beep means it needs to go down. The slow beep means it needs to come up. <laughs> but that's close enough. All these new tools. <laughs> I don't think the video does it justice. Just a red line all the way around. Ooh, that looks cool. Let's go see how it looks. They just got done grading the floor for the shop. Check it out. Megan and the crew graded this, the pea gravel yesterday, or two days ago. See a bunch of little footprints already. We'll get those raked out before we lay the foam down. Ooh, this looks good. I'm gonna run the compactor over this one time. And then we'll throw down some vapor barrier, get some foam going. So I don't know if I've walked through this, but we'll get foam, or excuse me, vapor barrier. We're just using a six mil poly uh, black, and then we'll tape the seams with Tyvek tape and I'll run it up the wall. And then we'll use acoustical foam, or excuse me, acoustical sealant below the rat board they call it which would be right here so we'll take the vapor barrier up into here there'll be acoustical sealant applied to this board and then the vapor barrier will be stapled there and then i'll have them spray foam or i'll come back and foam here and then this whole cavity gets filled with spray foam only in the sh uh, house the shop just gets uh um, regular bats in the wall and in Washington they actually allow you to use the foam 
as a vapor barrier if you tape the seams as well. But reading um, the permeability or the specs on the foam and the permeability specifically, the, the foam board is still permeable. So I figured just to be safe, it's like $500 worth of plastic, throw that down and uh, hopefully assist the foam and not uh, soaking up any moisture from the ground. So to me, it's cheap insurance. Again, it's only like 500 bucks in the grand scheme of things. It's not gonna break the bank. So we'll go that route. So we're looking good. Um, I took a little more out of the center here. Like I said, we're four inches of concrete and I wanted to go down to five right in this door, back up to four. Um, we put a 14 foot door in here. So if we ever do bring anything heavy in, motor home or uh, roll a semi in, we got a little thicker concrete and it wasn't, the guy that graded it came in and he graded it almost perfect. So it was four inches all the way across. So I just took roughly an inch out. I'm gonna get, uh, get to compacting here. We'll hopefully get laying the vapor barrier and foam later tonight or tomorrow. Got everything else done. All compacted, all looks great except for this hole. So what's happening is we we scraped out the 5 8 rock that we brought in. So this is native soil and it's that moon dust that you guys have seen in our other videos. And it just doesn't compact. So probably gonna have to scrape this down a couple inches and bring back some of this nice crushed rock. Um, out of time for tonight, I got a couple other things I gotta do. So I'm gonna get this raked flat and then uh, I'm gonna water the heck out of it and let it sit overnight. 
I did get some of the other stuff outside to pack really, really, really hard, actually. Um, so maybe I'll just wet the heck out of it and then check it in the morning. Um, we'll go from there. I don't know where I lost you, but we're getting close here. I got to run to town and grab some parts for the Jeep. But uh, I'll come back and I was I just wet, wet, wetted, wetted, wet. I don't know. You got this wet. Before I left or before I leave, and then I'll come back and wet it again right before I compact it. It's still just a little bit too dry. I probably should have had more water on this. It's compacting good, but you know, these lines, you can see over here where I had it nice and moist. Um, it compacts a lot better, looks a lot better. But I think, I mean, I was at this for, I don't know, I'd have to look, but maybe an hour. It really doesn't take much. One guy could do this whole building in probably two to three hours. Uh, all right, run to town, come back, finish her. All right, Sunday after lunch, get a little bit of a late start, but you can't work all day every day. So today I hope to get all of the uh, vapor barrier down least or just in the shop area so like I mentioned before we're still waiting on one inspection um, the electrical inspector has to come out and literally <laughs> look at this one piece of conduit that's gonna run the uh, power from the wall out to the island so he's got to make a trip out here check out one piece of conduit. I told him I'd send him a picture. Apparently that doesn't suffice. So, that's where we're at. We'll see, uh, see how much we get done. Not really ambitious today, but gotta get something done so I feel productive. I'm gonna set it up over here. And we'll get to work. I can't remember how long this damn building is my line here. We are 49 feet, which will be perfect. So those rolls are 20 by 100, so I'll run them this way. We'll get two cuts out of, or excuse me, two passes out of each one. Pop this open, give us a little light. Black poly. Like I was saying before, this is really a redundant as far as the code's concerned because you can use your two inch foam insulation as your vapor barrier per Washington code. So, again, I'm just using this to try to help reduce the amount of absorption that the two inch foam absorbs. Hmm. Roll it back. Over here. Big rocks are out of here. Right along the edge, couldn't get the plate compactor right next to it. So as you can see, let me turn this on. You can see there was, I'll show you here, a ledge right there. Now everything below this was compacted um, and we used a jumping jack right next to the wall. So really the only thing that isn't compacted is this last half inch or two inches of, two inches, excuse me, not half inch of this 5 8 gravel. So, I'm gonna rake this out flat. Um, we did make sure we compact it, obviously, right in the garage door, because that's where the most weight will be. But this, I'm just gonna rake out, so it's the same elevation as the rest of the floor. 
that doesn't give us any fits when we're putting our foam down. Anybody has any tips for a good GoPro tripod? Please let us know. Currently I have you perched on our laser level tripod. It's a tad precarious to say the least. They're ripping out there. Our road before we bought this property, there's a road that went through it. It's old logging road. And apparently it's been the highway for ATVs, dirt bikes. So we flag people down and say, hey, at least slow down around our house, even though we own the road, but I'm not going to be the guy that comes in and buys land and then shuts down the artery that they've been using for 30 years. But anyways, we flag them down, say slow down. Everyone's been super nice and receptive to it. So. So I knew it was going to be tough to get around these columns, but you can see kind of my process of pulling it tight and just take the knife and cut it up the column and that gets you at least your slit around it and then just keep working and cutting slowly. This isn't going to be a perfect seal um, and we knew that because we knew we'd have the columns in there, but get it as close as you can. I'm going to tape the seams. I'll probably tape around the column. Again, this isn't getting spray foamed anyway, so this isn't going to be a super tight part of the house. I will, there's only two columns in the home that will spend some more time on detail a little better, but get as close as you can. All right, I got the first full roll down. Basically got 40 by 100 feet laid, or excuse me, 40 by 50 feet laid. Taped the seams around these columns did get tricky uh, like i was saying before though it's it's not gonna be perfect but better than not i will lay the foam down and probably tape around them again just a tip i've laid a lot of poly under construction projects for concrete and other such um if you have a big loop in your poly or bold just tape it down that way you don't trip on it you don't cut it i'm not done over here um, i've got a couple more penetrations to go around and tape but i'll get all this taped down like i said not real motivated today uh, it is sunday i got a couple other chores i need to get done today before the work week but i wanted to get this down that way uh, megan could at least come in tomorrow or Tuesday start laying uh, sh foam sheets down easily a job you can do by yourself so I wanted to at least have a little bit ready to go I will probably finish this maybe later today um, maybe tomorrow night so I'll check back in I went and ate took a little nap and said screw it let's go finish so we got all that I got this one we'll just roll this one out tomorrow just gonna overlap it um, but that it's not a chore it's just kind of tedious around these posts so get that rolled out and we will be laying foam tomorrow